important lesson we should think about. So first we're going to make a prediction. What do you think this book is going to be about? Let's look at the cover. Kimora? Kindness? You read the word, didn't you? Very good. It's got something to do with kindness. Who else would like to make a prediction? Esme? That's a very good prediction. We're going to read the story so we can see, all right? Each kindness. That winter snow fell on everything, turning the world a brilliant white. So if it's snowing, what time of year is it? Layla? Winter. Winter. One morning, we settled into our seats the classroom door opened and the principal came in. She had a girl with her and she said to us, this is Maya. Maya looked down at the floor. I think I heard her whisper hello. We all stared at her. Her coat was open and the clothes beneath it looked old and ragged. Her shoes were spring shoes, not meant for the snow. And a strap on one of them had broken. So how does, how is she dressed? Molly? Does it seem like her clothes are nice? No. Do y'all know what the word ragged means? What do you think it means, Kamora? That she just has on regular clothes. She does have on regular clothes. But ragged means old and worn. You know how you have older clothes and the more you wear them, they kind of get a little rougher, maybe get a hole in them? That's what her clothes are like. Our teacher, Mrs. Albert, said, say good morning to our new student. But most of us were silent. The old empty seat was next to me. That's where our teacher put Maya. But on, and on that first day, Maya turned to me and smiled, but I didn't smile back. Was that a kind thing to do? No, that yeah. was mean. No. I moved my chair, myself and my books, <coughs> a little farther away from her. When she looked away, I turned to the window and stared out at the snow. And every day after that, when Maya came into the classroom, I looked away and didn't smile back. How does that make you feel? Sad. Sad. That's not a very nice thing to do. Why do you think she doesn't want to talk to Maya? Alondra? Because her clothes are old. That might be one reason why. My best friends that year were Kendra and Sophie. At lunchtime, we walked around the schoolyard, our fingers laced together, whispering secrets into each other's ears. One day, while we were near the slide, Maya came over to us. She held open her hand to show us the shiny jacks and the tiny red ball she'd gotten for her birthday. It's a high bouncer, she said, but none of us wanted to play. So Maya played a game by herself. How do you think Maya's feeling? Sad. Sad. That afternoon, when we got back into the classroom, Maya whispered to me, Bet you can't guess who the new Jacks champion of the world is. Behind me, Andrew whispered, Chloe's got a new friend. Chloe's got a new friend. She's not my friend, I whispered back. Are they saying nice things? No. How would you feel if someone were saying things like that to you? Sad. Very sad. They make bad things. Yeah, that's not a that's a bad thing to do. That's not how we treat friends. The weeks pass. Every day, we whispered about Maya, laughing at her clothes, her shoes, the strange food she brought for lunch. Some days, Maya held out her hand to show us what she would brought to school. A deck of cards, pickup sticks, a small tattered doll. Whenever she asked to play, we said no. Do y'all know what tattered means? Yes. What's your guess? said ragged? What did we say ragged meant? Esme? Old clothes. 
old. Well, tattered is another word. It means the same thing as ragged. So that means her doll was starting to fall apart. Do you think it was an old doll or a new doll? The days grew warmer and warmer. The pond thawed. Grass began growing where snow had once been. So if it's thawing and things are starting to grow up, what season are we now in? Marissa? Spring. Spring, very good. One day Maya came to school wearing a pretty dress and fancy shoes, but the shoes and the dress looked like they belonged to another girl before Maya. I have a new name for her, Kendra whispered. Never knew. Everything she has come from, comes from a second-hand store. We all laughed. Maya stood by the fence. She was holding a jump rope but did not come over to us to ask if we wanted to play. After a while, she folded it double, rolled the ends around each hand, and started jumping. She jumped around the whole schoolyard without stopping. She didn't look up once. Just jumped, jumped, jumped. Do y'all know what second hand means? It means that you bought it from a place where it was already used before you. So are you noticing a, th a theme with her, her clothes and all her things? What are you noticing? Go ahead, Bailey. That what? It's already been used. Most of her stuff has already been used. Is it wrong to have stuff that's already been used? Does that make you any less of a person? No, it doesn't. It means you've just had stuff that somebody else had before you. There's nothing wrong with that. The next day, Maya seat was empty. In class that morning, we were talking about kindness. Miss Albert had brought a big bowl into the class and filled it with water. We all watched around. We all gathered around her desk and watched her drop a small stone into it. Tiny waves rippled out away from the stone. <coughs> this is what each kindness does, Miss Albert said. Each little thing we do goes out like a ripple into the world. So why do you think she was showing them that? Zachary? They weren't being kind. So have y'all seen a, or have y'all tossed a pebble or something heavy into water? What happens, Jahaven? The water, the water spreads away. Mm -hmm, it does. So that's called rippling. And as it gets further out, the waves still go. It just gets harder to see them, but they're still there. They're still moving. Then Miss Albert let each of us drop the stone in as we told her what kind of things we had done. Joseph had held the door for his <laughs> grandmother. Kendra helped change her baby brother's diaper. Even mean old Andrew had done something. I carried the teacher's new books up the stairs, he said, and Miss Albert said it was true. I stood there holding Miss Albert drop and my hands silent. Even small things count, Miss Albert said gently, but I couldn't think of anything and passed the stone on. How do you think Chloe's starting to feel? Layla? Why do you think she's sad, Aeson? Well, she's sad because she didn't treat them right, right? She's thinking about Maya, especially since Maya's not there anymore. Maya didn't come to school the next day or the day after that. Each morning, I walked to the school slowly, hoping this would be the day that Maya returned and she'd look at me and smile. I promised myself this would be the day that I smiled back. Each kindness, Miss Albert said, makes the whole world a little bit better. <laughs> so why do you think Maya's no longer at school, Jacob? So did you hear him? 
she said he said that he thinks that she's not there anymore because she's tired of being picked on and not being treated nicely. I think that's a good inference. But Maya's seat remained empty, and one day Miss Albert announced to the class that Maya wouldn't be coming back. Her family had to move away, Miss Albert said. Then she told us to take out our notebooks. It was time for spelling. That afternoon, I walked home alone. When I reached the pond, my throat filled with all the things I wish I would have said to Maya. Each kindness I had never shown. I threw small stones into it over and over, watching the way the water rippled out and away, out and away. Like each kindness done and not done, like every girl somewhere holding a small gift out to someone and that someone turning away from it. How do you think she's feeling? <coughs> Why is she sad? Mm -hmm. Why would she want Maya to be there? Molly? Mm -hmm. She wants to play with her. She wants to be kind to her. She never got the chance to because she decided not to be kind. Because she could have been friends. Yeah. I watched the water ripple as the sun set through the maples, and the chance of kindness with Maya became more and more forever gone. So, obviously, Chloe feels very bad for how she treated Maya. What would you do? I want you to think, what would you do if you saw someone being mean to Maya? Melani? If someone's being mean to Maya, what would you do? teacher. Let's see. Ariana, what would you do? I would be kind. You would be kind to her? Valerie, what would you do? What would you do to Maya? I'd be your friend. You would want to be your friend? Molly? Play with her. How, um, how would you what would you tell Chloe before? Bailey Glenn? If you saw Chloe was being mean, what would you do? What would you tell Chloe? To stop being mean. Alondra, do you have something? What would you do? Let's put our hands down and let's let... Say sorry, okay. I want you to turn and talk to your partner who's sitting next to you and tell them three nice things that you would do to make friends.
sometimes a way to be nice is just to give stuff that we like and we value to our friends to know that they have a friend who wants to give them nice things too. Um, what what did you say, Leilani? Like how to be nice. I heard you and Isabel talking. What did Isabel tell you? To, to be nice to two people. Mm -hmm. And let's see, Layla. That's true. If we're not nice to other people, do you think it's going to be easy for us to get friends? No. If we're being mean, I don't think people would want to hang out with us, right? So what I want you to remember from this book is that just because someone is different than you or they don't have as many nice things as you do doesn't make them any less of a person. We should not treat them mean just because what they look like, what their family looks like, what they have, okay? And I know y'all, y'all are pretty good at being kind, but just remember that because pretty soon we're not gonna be in school, we're gonna have summer and you're gonna be playing with other friends and next year you might have a new class. So you're gonna have to learn how to make more friends that aren't just the ones here. So when you go out into that world, I want you to think about treating everyone with kindness. Because when we do an action, whether it's good or bad, it's gonna have an effect like the ripples. It's gonna affect the people around us. And I want you to remember that, okay? All right, thank you.